or uh, this mineral uh, mineral uh, inlets uh, start with this numerical. Uh, here it is. Uh, we'll again do a, a truss, truss system, which is. Uh, The internal, uh, it's model number 631, the internal track press for the wing of a light air train is subjected to the forces shown. Full stop, determine the forces in member DC, DH and HC and state if the members are in tension or compression. Okay. So here we have got uh, uh, this air train wing. And if you look at it, uh, one of will be the main support, other will be the roller base support. So this is very important. Whether it's a pin base support or roller support. Okay. The length from A to B is two feet. B to C is again two feet. C to D is two feet, and D to E is 1.5 feet. Okay. So if you look at it, and the forces are being applied at point B, 80 pounds. Point C, 80 pounds. Point D is again 60 pounds, point E is 40 pounds and uh, the truss is being reinforced by these diagonal uh, truss members it's being reinforced like this and uh, when bending we are basically uh, reinforced with these vertical uh, truss members as well and it is enclosed in, a, in the wing of an aeroplane so now we shall proceed how we can solve it uh, to uh, uh, software and this is uh, starting from force uh, when we solve it we say determine that the force in members the, the internal drag press for the wing of an airplane is subjected to the forces shown determine the forces in member BC this is BC this is BH and this is HC and state if the members are in tension or compression so when you can solve it by means of the method of sections and uh, this is the method of sections you got two methods to solve it one of the methods are going to be called as the method of uh, sections and the other method is called as the uh, method of sections and uh, when used for when forces are only required in few members and the first one is the method of joints when you are required forces in all the members of the truss is required okay both of these methods have got their own importance depending upon what is your requirement so let us proceed if you solve it correctly uh, the force bc bh which means this force bh must be 254.6 pounds and it must be in tension okay it must be in tension and uh, the uh, force uh, at C. This is force at C. It must be 180 pounds, must be in compression. And uh, what about the force BC? This force BC must be 130 pounds and must be tension. Okay. Let's proceed. Oh. So, for this new truss, uh, the horizontal spacing interval is being defined at 0.25 and the uh, number of spaces that you require for it will be again, it is up to you can also change it it's depending upon your requirements. 0.25 and uh, this is it is done. so the horizontal spacing interval for one of the spaces 0.25 and you need 32 of those uh, basically spacing intervals and for the vertical spacing interval is 0.25 and you need 8 of those spaces along the y axis this is along the x axis so here you have to find it okay so now let's start with the model it will be uh, here like you do. 
So we create the members first. Uh, from this point to this is two feet. Then we go here. This is again two feet. Then you go again. This is uh, uh, two feet. Okay. So and again, this is one point five. is 1.5 okay so this is done and around the y axis the total length is 2 feet of the wing it is 2 feet and from here it is 2 feet then again 2 feet then again 2 feet and then from here it's going to be this one okay now from here to here if you close it down this is done and then we go from here and from here to here and from here you go the member goes like this and from here the member goes like this and then from here the member goes like this then from here the member goes like this this distance will be a bit different so now it has been done we have basically modeled it uh, as per our requirements if you look at it we have modeled it now what we need we need these supports the pin and the roller support and uh, we need these four forces ok so the supports uh, you can call this a roller support and then from uh, here, you've got this, and you've got this, a pin support and a roller support. And uh, then we have got 80 pound, 80 pound, 60 and 40 pound forces. So you go here, loads. If you look at it, uh, this is an 80 pound force. You define it as 80. And uh, you enter the load value, upward direction. And then you go again. You, this is 80 pounds and then again you go and you enter it with 60 pounds uh, and you go again you enter it as 40 pounds if I am not wrong uh, so it is all with that if you look at it now it is very much similar to what is he is asking so it's we instead of performing all these big calculations all these calculations and simulations let's see how the software response works. So, if you look at it, uh, we ask it to solve it. All right. Now we solve it, and these are our results. Okay. Now, what is he asking us uh, in the problem? He is asking us to calculate uh, BC, BH, and HC. Okay. So, BC is going to be. If you look at it, uh, BC is coming as BC is coming as uh, 130 pounds. So if you look at it, uh, uh, BC BC is 130 pounds tensile. Okay. So if you look at it, BC is 130 pounds tensile. Okay. And uh, what about uh, HC? HC is uh, this is HC. So HC is uh, HC is 180 pounds. If you look at it. HC is 180 pounds. Uh, and uh, here it is. HC is 180 pounds compressive. And again, you can see 180 pounds compressive. That is done. And then what is he asking you further? Uh, BH. BH is diagonal and it is 254.59 pounds tensile. So you can see BH is 254.56 pounds tensile. So that is how you calculate. And then again, it can all it will also give you the reaction values. If you look at it, direction values at this point F for the ruler, which gives you one direction, is 570 uh, pounds. Uh, AX is 570 pounds right to the, from the right to the left. 
if uh, what about sorry a x 570 pounds in this from here from the right to the left a y is 260 pounds downwards and f x is basically 570 pounds from the left to the right okay so this is how we basically simulated our software and this was your problem in the notes that we have given to you and uh, you can see all your results uh, perfectly matched with the analytical calculations so I hope you understand how to solve the trust computationally uh, in case it's, it's basically two dimensional plane trust okay we'll come with more uh, simulations shortly thank you very much